Hello everyone, Will the Outlaw here and today we are going to be taking a look at Transformers Legacy Leader Class Sandstorm. When this version of Sandstorm was announced, I got really excited. The G1 version is one of the few figures I have kept from my childhood and it holds a special place in my heart since it was probably the last Transformers toy my parents ever bought me. There have been several versions of the character over the years with the Thrilling 30 version probably being the best. But with the 40th anniversary this year, it's time for a new, even more accurate version. Looking at the figure itself and I am immediately blown away by how chunky he is. He is a big one with nice proportions and a sturdy build. The coloring on this guy is a direct homage to the original G1 figure. The details also harken heavily to it as well. From the shin details to the placement of the kibble, this figure does everything right and hits all my nostalgic buttons. The head sculpt is also ripped from the original toy, with it having a faceplate instead of a regular face that was seen in the animated series. This is somewhat of a surprise to me since modern figures tend to lean more towards the animated look. This isn't a fault for me as I prefer this look by far. The plastic quality is top tier and makes this figure feel extremely solid and heavy in your hands with its big pieces and hardly any hollow bits. The joints on this figure are tight and articulation is everything you would expect from a leader figure. Ball joint head, shoulders that go up, down, in and out, double jointed elbows, wrist swivel, waist swivel, hips that go up, down, in and out, thigh cut, 90 knees, and feet that can point down with an ankle tilt. Despite his back kibble, he's pretty well balanced and can be put in some great poses. One thing that I didn't realize until now is that the hips are on a slider and can move back and forth. This is odd because it's not even in the instructions. One major downside though, is that the chest piece likes to unpeg. I tried to figure out how to keep it pegged in, but it doesn't seem to want to stay in. I mean, this is a pretty big flaw in the design and it really bums me out, especially at the leader price point. His accessories are pretty plentiful and fit perfectly with his character. He comes with this classic G1 inspired rifle, a small pistol, and a rescue cage thing with a rope winch. These accessories are a blast to play with and add so much play value, especially with the rope and cage. By far, the best part of Sandstorm is the fact that he is a triple changer with two very different, very nice alt modes. Transformation to the Dune Buggy mode is very reminiscent of the original figure. It's pretty much the same with a few added steps. The Dune Buggy mode is very G1. The details pretty much remain the same, but the wheels are the real MVP in this mode. They have a rubber-like feel to them and they grip the surface very well, allowing for some epic duke de doing The accessories complete the look of this mode, with the cage covering the engine block and the bottom part solidifying the front of the vehicle. Transformation to the helicopter mode is a little more involved, but still a lot of fun and intuitive. The helicopter mode is a completely different look, almost making it hard to believe this is the same figure. Everything tabs together perfectly, and with the plastic quality being so good, even the blades feel strong and sturdy. The accessories do even more in this mode, with the cage attaching to the bottom for some search and rescue action, very fitting for this search and rescue helicopter. The original Sandstorm was one of the best triple changers in G1, and this new version is no different. Even its weakest mode rivals the best of certain figures that are not triple changers. All in all, I am so happy with this guy. He is everything I wanted in an update to one of my favorite toys from my childhood. Bottom line, 
Whether you have a nostalgic connection to this character or not, this figure is top notch and deserves to be in your collection. This is one of the best figures of the year so far. Well, that was my look at Transformers Legacy United Sandstorm. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you all soon. Laters.